Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to this uh, NX Mono Repo tutorials or sessions. Here in this video we are going to talk about uh, React Mono Repo, uh, which is integrated Mono Repo. Means we are going to create a uh, multiple libraries inside React app and we are going to reuse them in one another. So it is integrated Mono Repo. And here we can select simple React. This is React app we are creating with the help of Webpack. Yes, so, so integrated and package based integrated uh, monorepos are created where you can reuse the, the libraries inside one another. You can actually provide the dependencies and most of these things are controlled and managed by NX. I mean, you won't have the individual package.json inside these individual uh, repositories you have. Like I will be creating um, a storybook configurations for the React app and then a simple utility helper like common UI is a another utility library we are going to create where we can create a simple react uh, hooks or some context which we want to use in the react web app so we will see how uh, we can create a simple library react library in this integrated mono repo and how we can use that react library inside a react web app or a simple react design system and how we can use that react design system uh, or react components inside a react web app so here we will import, we will open this project and here we will use this NX console to generate things. So here I am going to use a React library, library name is common UI, unit test runner is just, builder is, bundler is fit, directory we can keep default and global css linter some more configurations are there i will just import path just put the import path using which i will be importing the library artifacts compiler is babel is fine wait and just i will just run it So it should be able to create a simple react library for me and then we will see how we can use the library stuff inside our web app so here we can see common ui and what do we have here is let's see if i want to import this common ui props because this is also exportable exported from here can i use this in my app so what i will do is import something from common UI and I am importing something like this so let's see if we are able to build this because now this project this web app is dependent on this common UI app so I will just do a simple run or simple build common RC app build and I can see uh, this is building so what command we are doing npx and uh, uh, nx run rc app this is the app name and we are doing build so what it is doing it is running the dependent build right first of all it is running it is running the build for the project where it is dependent on earlier there was an error so what i did is i removed the node modules and did npm install again and now my build is successful So successfully ran the target build for project RCF and one task depends on it. So it did both the builds and now we can just use this. Uh, let's say I wanted to introduce one simple library. So here inside SRC, I will just create one hook and I wanted to use this hook in my components. So this is like a custom use Xeos hook and I will import it now. I mean first I need to export it from here so we can import it so this is my app where I wanted to use this so similarly I can just do is from and I can just do use Xeos 
and this is how we can use simple use exuse definition i will just paste this definition this is how we are calling the use exuse hook and just passing this uh, http post and you can just do the build again it is building the project on which it is dependent on you can see it took some time because it's now not getting it from the cache zero read from cache because we did the change so it will build this again and then we are able to build our app so now we can also serve it so nx we can just to serve rc app npm run build so this is the build target port you can define and just run this i will just run it manually it's like some dependency mesh due to which it sometimes fail to run so here you can see this application is running all the other things you can also add a storybook components to our uh, app so here in nx console generate storybook configuration to this project rc app bundler is with rest you can just leave and just run this so it will just enable the storybook configurations for the react app so this is how you can just click plug and play with the different types either react either angular now our main agenda of the using nx is to play with the nest.js microservices we will have a small small microservices and the modules let's say i'm just using a building a simple microservice i can create these logger module auth module database module config module or any kind of module send grid module s3 module or elastic search module as a uh, simple libraries and then i can use those uh, simple simple libraries across the different projects that's the beauty of nx and we are going to use that in the integrated monorepo so that we can just uh, show the dependencies can visualize the graph of dependencies i think that is uh, possible here also i used to see the dependency graph So here it is generating just a graph similarly like common ui rc app is dependent on the common ui you can see so right now we don't have a complex dependency rc app is using some common ui common ui has this use exios hook and it is just importing it from there there we can have a complex design system where you are importing a lot of components from there or we can have these small utility helper libraries you keep adding them and get this advantage so here you can create a simple library also simple react library it can be a js library also like common utility astronary jest tsc directory is fine import path it can be your tk sarma common utility and you just run it it will just add another library with the common utility and it is just a simple javascript it can be a simple type script and here you can add your common utility functions whatever common task like date helpers or any utility helpers you can add and then you can use these anywhere in your application so these are the different runners like you can see and we are able to import things from one another project because here the depends on is on the build right that's why one project can import the things from the libraries so the library whatever the library exports if you see the package json of these libraries project json here these are the source root and this is the project type is library so these libraries can be imported into other projects Okay. we will explore more how this uh, nx json differs for the package based and integrated based repositories this is integrated based here we are using utility helpers and uh, the repositories like react with the uh, different utility helpers and design systems similarly you can also build angular nest.js or any kind of thing let's see the next video which talks about uh, 